Have you ever had the experience of being triggered by an event and realizing, wow, what's going on here? Why am I so upset by something that seems so insignificant? I'll tell you what that is and why it's so important. Welcome to this episode of Releasing the Ties That Bind with accredited journey practitioner, Karen Kemick. Often we'll have things that trigger us, and it could be, and very often, is something that's, uh, that a loved one says or does, but it could also be coworkers or friends or even strangers, and we'll have emotions that come up that seem so much stronger than the situation warrants. So what's going on? It's probably a repressed cell memory. What that means is that when we have a painful event or trauma or upset that we never had a chance to completely feel or get over, it gets stored in the cells in our bodies. Science has proven this. Candace Pert, a brilliant research scientist, found that each cell has tiny keyholes, she called cell receptors, to receive communication from our brain. The receptors receive this communication and release chemicals that are kind of like keys that fit into those little keyholes and allow healthy communication with the brain, keeping us in harmony and good health. As we move through life, experiences happen that are emotionally charged that we don't know how to deal with, and the keyholes get blocked and shut down. If we have one or two of these, or even hundreds, it's not a big deal. But if there are thousands, it could cause us to be emotionally shut down, easily triggered emotionally, depressed, or even cause physical ailments. Repressed cell memories can keep us from being truly happy or living life to the fullest or expressing our boundless creativity. Science has known about repressed cell memories for some time, but we're just beginning to understand ways of dealing with and healing them. The journey work that I do is an excellent way to access those memories and also to heal them, to get to forgiveness with the person in your life that may have been responsible for what happened. And remember, that person who was responsible has or had their own repressed cell memory, so they were probably acting from their own pain and doing whatever it was that caused your hurt. On my next show, I'll give you examples of repressed cell memories that I've experienced in my own life to help you to understand what I'm talking about. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching this episode of Releasing the Ties That Bind with Karen Kemick. For more great information, visit Karen's website at karenkemick.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Toledo Biz TV Shows.